Hey Scorpio, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general love reading for April. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's general. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. Throw it out the window. Um, if you want a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. You can also head over to my Etsy shop. Favorite my shop, okay? My personal readings that are there. My oracle decks to my spiritual jewelry, okay? I also have one of my rituals up there for those of you guys who want to release the past. Exes, okay? Drama, hurt all that let it go and move on and manifest new love um check out my ritual i will send you all the ingredients to your home and you can do your own candle magic ritual okay so let's get right into your reading um scorpio thank you all for your love and support getting me to 100,000 subscribers i'm so appreciative thank you each and every one of you guys okay all right let's jump right into your reading your bonus, your bonus reading for April, mid-April is up on Vimeo, okay? So check that out if you're interested. How your person feels, what are they not saying, what are they not revealing, and how do they want to move forward with you, okay? Alright, let's see. What's going on with my Scorpios out there, my Scorpio gang? One more good shuffle here. What is the current energy surrounding Scorpio and love? What is the current energy surrounding Scorpio and love? Ooh, okay. I'm not going to take all these cards here, y'all. Scorpio and love. Scorpio and love. All right. We have a little bit of confusion here regarding something or someone. We got the Seven of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, I do feel like there's some confusion about where you stand with someone. I do feel right now, Scorpio, you may be single or in a situation where you have to just, um, you're in that very solo energy. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you recently went separate ways from someone because there was too much confusion. Maybe you were in some kind of partnership or situationship. But I feel like right now with the Page of Swords, you're trying to find out information, okay? This is like going online doing research okay it could be the energy of spying <laughs> you know but it's typically about finding answers or finding information out and i think a lot of you guys whoever you're dealing with is because they they're very confusing you don't know where you are where you stand with this person you may not know what their intentions are for you i'm getting that kind of energy so i do feel like maybe you guys want some kind of partnership but right now you guys are definitely very much single and trying to figure out something here with regard to the situation all right let's see what happened in the past in the past we have the queen of cups in reverse the five of swords and ace of pentacles see yeah i feel like in the past there was a situation that there was a possibility that you guys can have a commitment together okay i'm seeing the ace of pentacles maybe you were ready to offer it or this person may have made a promise to offer it but i do feel like there could have been some fighting here the five of swords or someone lied about a situation someone could have lied about being in a commitment with someone else because whatever happened um whatever you're finding out it looks like you recently pulled back emotionally from this person there's something here where you may have felt hurt maybe you gave too much of your love and loyalty with this queen of cups in reverse and you guys are holding back emotionally okay i do feel like there could be some um conflicts with this person it could be a gemini libra aquarius and a taurus virgo capricorn all right let's see yeah on your mind whoever this person is the six of cups came out with the tower you know, this is someone who you have a very strong connection with, soul tie, soul bond, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of nostalgia and thinking about the past situation or, you know, what you guys had. Um, the Six of Cups is definitely, you know, someone that you have fond memories of. But I feel like you could have gone through a tower moment with this person. Could have been a shakeup within the connection. Or right now, maybe you guys are avoiding something altogether because um, it could lead to a tower moment. Okay, so take it how it resonates. That's your energy, Scorpio, at with that tower. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, it's like you love them and you hate them at the same time. Okay, because that, that Six of Cups is a lot of sweet, fond memories. But then the tower, it's like this person is like... <laughs> You know, it, they cause so much drama in your life. And a lot of you guys may be trying to avoid that altogether. All right, what's going on in the foundation with your person? So they're not communicating. Looks like someone walked away. We've got two eights. 
Eight's about change. Someone here, stop communicating, stop moving forward. There could be some delays here. And I'm seeing that maybe a person walked away or they're thinking about you walking away. That's what's on their mind right now. Um, we have the other Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the High Priestess. So whoever you're dealing with, I'm seeing that they could be in a commitment right now. Or maybe, yeah, there was some kind of just ending of a commitment. Whatever, there's some kind of commitment here. Um, but they're very secretive about their next steps with you. This is how they see moving forward, being very secretive, standoffish, very mysterious, okay? So I almost feel like they're not telling you what their next move is right now, Scorpio, because um, maybe you guys are just not talking. There's no communication. There's, no, there's not much taking place between you guys. And that's probably why you're in the Page of Swords, because you're trying to find out what's going on, right? Um, let's see. Let's see what's coming in for you and this person. So the Four of Swords came out with the King of Wands in reverse. So some of you guys are dealing with a Leo, a Sag, or an Aries. And I'm seeing whoever this person is, they're, they're very quiet. They're very, um, they're in the energy of withdrawn, not speaking, not communicating. Yeah, they're definitely holding back, very guarded. But I do see them maybe hold, holding on to something in either, so I'm getting two things. With this Four of Pentacles, it could be very... A guarded person guarding like their assets guarding their money guarding their emotions okay or it could be the energy of holding on to something too tightly okay um a past situation a past person or something a grudge it could be holding on to something but i do feel like something here is being released whatever that may be it's being released um but i don't see your person moving forward toward you just yet and we're going to clarify what this is, but your person isn't moving towards you to take any real action just yet because, again, the Four of Swords is here. So that's the energy of trying to find peace of mind, being very quiet, okay? Again, very secretive, not talking right now. So that's your person's energy, and that's what you can expect. But I'm going to get some more clarity. Let's dig a little bit deeper into this reading for you, Scorpio. All right, right now, the current energy is the Seven of Cups the page of sword denial of pentacles so yeah i do feel like there's been some kind of separation or division and now you guys are trying to find out what really happened trying to find information this is like digging for data and you know some kind of info facts and because essentially there's been a lot of confusion about okay the situation or you know were you still with this person some of you guys are just trying to find out truth what this person got going on if they're very mysterious like what they got going on behind your back yeah, Aquarian energy. We got the star in the world. So something here could be turning around in a way that you don't even expect, okay? And it is something here that's going to make you um, feel fulfilled. It's something here that you may, may have been dreaming of or manifesting even, Scorpio, okay? With that star, it's something here that you could be really, um, you, you may not be expecting, okay? <laughs> but it's going to make you feel good. What happened in the past? Five of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, some kind of conflict over a commitment, yeah, what is going on? You're, maybe there was some kind of communication about an offer. Let's see. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? There's so much fighting. Someone just decided to walk away. We got the Five of Swords twice with the Ace of Pentacles twice. <laughs> so someone was in conflict about giving you a commitment. It looks like something here just ended. That's what I'm seeing for the majority of you guys. That's your energy, Scorpio. Maybe you guys ended it and walked away because you found out some truth regarding this person's inability to give you a commitment or them giving a commitment to someone else. Okay, that's what I'm seeing happen in the past. Why is the Seven of Cups with the Tower? Okay, the Seven of Wands and the Page of Swords. Yeah, so some of you guys, maybe you found out that this person may have went to a past situation, a past person. There's some guards up. Some of you guys are very guarded toward this person for some, for some reason. And I feel like whatever you're finding out with the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords came out again in your energy. It's making you avoid this person or the situation, the, the tower. It's like it's telling me that a lot of you guys, you feel like you have to just remove yourself from this person at least for the time being because well this is what they do to your life right they bring so much unsettling energy so much instability chaos okay all right let's see what's happening in your person's energy they ate a wands in reverse so something here is definitely delayed so the thing is is that I'm seeing your person's energy they're not talking because well they're doing a lot of reflecting they're not telling you how how much they feel like they they wish they had done more. How much they feel like they failed you. How much they wish they had invested better. 
Okay, the Seven of Pentacles, the verses tell me they wish they had actually, you know, planted seeds here or, you know, put more energy and effort because something here didn't pay off in their eyes. And that's not something they want to tell you. But regarding someone walking away, whether it was you or them, they're feeling rejected. They're feeling like there was a missed opportunity here because there was a lot of feelings and there was love here. We've got a lot of cups. So your person, whoever walked away, they're definitely feeling like there was a missed opportunity. Like this, this isn't really what they wanted. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, and I'm feeling like whatever happened, the ending of some kind of commitment, your person has now lost the way. This is something... Whatever happened, it's almost as if they feel it's out of their own control now. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to turn things around to bring some kind of change. Why is the high priestess here? They're being very secretive about. Okay, yeah, they want to come towards you. Why is the knight of wands here? What do they want to come? Yeah, because they want happiness and healing. This is why they want to come towards you. They're not telling you this, of course. The high priestess here. Uh, they want to come, you know, charging in. Leo, Sag, Aries, strong Leo energy and bring some light, bring some clarity, maybe um, illuminate, you know, bring some kind of illumination on a situation here. Clear the air with you, but it's also about maybe, you know, bring healing and happiness and harmony back to a situation with regard to you. The thing is, is that we got the four of swords. Some of you guys are not talking because of a third party or others, others of you guys, it's as if they're trying to trying to deal with the conflict, trying to find peace of mind before they have a union because they do want to bring balance. We have the justice card. Yeah, I'm feeling as if like they're, they're struggling now because they don't know on how to come towards you. They don't have a strategic plan on how to bring balance back. But I do see them in this hibernation mode or in this uh, period of introspection where they're not talking to try to figure out how to balance the scales, how to have this reunion. And they may have to even let go or part ways with something with the four of pentacles yeah i'm almost feeling like if they were very guarded toward a commitment with you this is them realizing that they have to open up they have to be more flexible be more open-minded with regard to a commitment some of you guys are dealing with a taurus we got libra leo okay aquarius you can also be dealing with a scorpio too scorpio <laughs> so that is what i have for you guys um it's a short reading but i am gonna um also Get to the unspoken love messages. So if you want to know what are your what are your person's feelings right now, what's going on in their head, what are they not saying to you? Um unspoken, okay. The unspoken love messages will tell us. What are some things Scorpio's person wants to tell them? Judgment. I'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around, okay? So yeah, your person is wanting to make a decision to, to, to change the situation here, right? Bring justice, um, make things more right, more fair, have a reunion with you. But the thing is, is that right now they feel pushed away. They feel um, they feel rejected, right? The four of cups and they, they don't have a plan just yet. The emperor in reverse is someone who lacks direction or lacks a plan. So does the king of wands in reverse. So they got to get it together. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I would be ready to surrender. So yeah, your person's working on it. They're doing a lot behind the scenes to work on surrendering to you, to be there for you, so that you guys can be together. We have, I carry guilt for the way I mistreated you. So if they hurt you in any way, said hurtful mean things, they feel bad for mistreating you, for talking to you that way. Um, we also have, I hope you will find forgiveness in your heart for me. So, yeah, they want to be forgiven. Maybe they have never apologized the correct way, but they want to be forgiven for what they've done in the past. Look at that. One day, I believe we will be together again. So, again, speaking that into fruition, your person's constantly thinking about a reunion coming together, right? Let's get one more. This deck is on my Etsy shop. It is available for immediate shipping if you do purchase today, okay? Look, um, I look at your pictures for hours on end. You are still so beautiful to me. So this person's all in that Six of Cups energy. You're definitely dealing with a very strong soulmate. You see them, this is them. Like, now they smell in the roses, right? Now they know what kind of connection this is. Now they miss you. Six of Cups, reminiscing, looking at your pictures. They could be in that Page of Swords energy too, you know, checking your social media, your Twitter feeds, your Instagram stories, all that. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your bonus reading is up on Vimeo. All right, you guys have a great remainder of your week.